Hey everyone, it's your girl Q and I am back. I will be doing today's video from the office and I will be going over how you can become a paid model or actor. So I often get the question of how do I become a paid model or actor? For any of you that don't know, I have been a casting director for the last year and I've been casting for commercials, short films, brand shoots, infomercials, anything that someone would need models and actors for. Oh, and music videos, of course, that's my favorite. So basically in this video, I will be going over a few things that will help you become a paid model and or paid actor. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and continue to watch the rest of this video. So the first thing that you need to be focusing on as someone who wants to become a paid model or actor is branding your Instagram. And when I say branding your Instagram, I mean starting with building your portfolio. So if you have a personal Instagram page and you don't want to use your personal Instagram page, go ahead and start another Instagram page that's going to be specifically for your modeling and acting pictures and experiences. You want to make sure that you are using some very high quality photos. Also, try to wear well-known brands that everybody knows because that'd be a really good way to get reshared and reposted on big pages. And by experience, remind you, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it was a paid opportunity or not. If you were in your friend's TV show that he came up with that he recorded on his phone, you can put that as an experience on your page. Um, if you did a brand shoot, by yourself, you set up your timer and you took the pictures yourself, that still be considered building your brand, building your portfolio. But obviously, you know, you want to start heading in the direction of having some high quality photos by working with different photographers. My next piece of advice is getting more exposure. So a great way to get more exposure is TFP and TFP stands for time for photos. So in so many words, if you say TFP to a photographer, they should know that you're basically asking for a collaboration, which means an exchange of services. You're agreeing to model for that photographer for free, and that photographer is agreeing to shoot you for free. But here are some things that you need to make sure that you take into consideration before doing this TFP. First, you need to make sure that you are getting those photos you know there's no reason for you to do tfp with a photographer and then you're not able to receive the photos back in a timely fashion or you just never get the photos at all or the photographer is trying to charge you for the photos after all so that's something that you need to be you need to so that's something that you need to clarify before you actually go and do the photo shoot so making sure that you're double checking with the photographer that it's a free collaboration Make sure that you know how many photos that you'll be getting back. Because I've also seen instances of photographers having the models do four or five different sets, two or three different locations, and then only sending them photos, only sending them five photos from one location. So you also want to make sure that you are not wasting your time, of course, because your time is valuable. So I also recommend reaching out to some like top photographers. If you're someone who has a job and you can afford to actually invest in your modeling career, that would help you a lot, you know, because you can work with some well-known photographers. So when they post you on your page, you're going to get more, ex when they post you on their page, you're going to get more exposure, more photographers and models are going to follow you. And that's just going to help your brand overall, having more people see you. And that's the goal, to have as many people see your page as possible. And then, you know, if they are a well-known photographer, let's also assume that they have some amazing, great work. And that's why they're well-known. So sometimes you're going to have to invest some of your money. Um, don't get me wrong. You can definitely achieve... Uh, let me stop lying. No, you need to invest in yourself. So the same way that you can go and eat mcdonald's or wendy's every single week or every other week take some of that mcdonald's wendy's money and invest into some photographers patrick drop the wallet here is a tip that a lot of people don't think about actually you can also if you already have a good photographer that you work with that you're able to afford their prices or maybe it's just a good friend with a nice camera and they're still working on building their photography portfolio you can reach out to your good friend who's building their portfolio and you can reach out to some well-known models. So hear me out. 
If you already have the free photographer, reach out to a well-known model, ask her what her rates are, and pay that well-known model to take pictures with you for a photo shoot. Because if the photos are good enough, when that well-known model posts their photos with you and tags you, boom, now that makes you look more credible. Now you have more photographers reaching out to you. Now you have more people who are following you, more people who are going to check out your page just because that you worked with that model. And then you never know, you might be able to build a relationship with that model and she might invite you to come shoot with her again in more of her opportunities. Or maybe y'all build a friendship and now she's sending you different opportunities that you can go to. Because at the end of the day, we all know that it's not what you know, it's who you know. One of the main things that I'm gonna keep expressing throughout this whole video is reaching out to people. Yes, you actually have to talk to people. I know that Nobody likes talking to people and I'm generalizing, of course, but sometimes it can be hard, especially when, you know, you're trying to help yourself get into another position and you may not have that much money to spend. But hey, the thing about it is hey, you never know what somebody's going to say until you ask. And I always like to say closed mouths do not get fed around here. <laughs> But yeah, so back into this. So you need to be reaching out to A, casting companies, B, modeling agencies, C, scouts and casting directors. These are the people that you need to be talking to and getting in their face and staying persistent and asking them how you apply for their companies and how you join and how you become a part of the different things that they have going on great way to find these companies because you're probably thinking like okay Quinise, where am i going to find these people where am i going to find these companies well google yes google's an amazing thing but even better than google is instagram so go on instagram go to the hashtag section type in hashtag casting directors type in hashtag casting companies Type in hashtag modeling agencies, hashtag photographers, hashtag models, hashtag whatever. I do believe the hashtags work. And if you've never tried this process to be able to find people before, it really works. So try it right now. Head over to Instagram. Go ahead and type in hashtag casting companies. And boom. One casting company that I can go ahead and recommend right now if you're watching this video is my casting company. We are located in Durham, North Carolina, and our link is directly below. You can send in a submission on our website. It is qmfmodels.com, qmfmodels.com. We take in new actors and models, no experience needed. We do have a submission process and we do go through auditions as well. So if you're interested in becoming a paid model and actor, I know that that's one company you can apply for, my company, and we will definitely take a look at your application and we'll let you know if we feel like you would be a good fit or not for our company. Aside from that, another thing that you need to be doing is looking for open calls, looking for casting calls, looking for open auditions, you know, there's a lot of companies and people who will do auditions. So make sure anytime you see a free opportunity or maybe even a $10, $15 opportunity to go network with some more like-minded individuals or people who can help you get to the next level, make sure that you are investing your time or even investing your money, um, especially if it's not that much money. The three main takeaways from this video today should be Brand your Instagram, make sure that you're building that portfolio with high quality photos. Exposure, make sure that you're getting as much exposure as possible and reaching out to people. Reach out to scouts, reach out to casting companies, reach out to modeling agencies. Make sure that you're talking to as many people as possible so you can get your name out there and you can have more people checking out your portfolio. And these are some really good goals to have and some good things to work on, especially moving into this new year. So go ahead and try all of these different things that I've said and stay consistent. Last but not least, make sure that you're staying consistent. You might not get paid as a freelance model at first, but if you keep posting high quality photos and you keep staying in people's faces and you keep reaching out, I promise you that you'll be able to build your portfolio and you'll eventually get signed to an agency or start working with an agent or a casting director who's gonna help take your career to the next level. So 
definitely keep going. Don't get discouraged. If you'd like to be a model or actor as a full-time career, you can definitely do it. Don't let anybody tell you anything different.